All right, what we're gonna go over today is a very basic counter to a double leg takedown. And this is a counter that we at least have evidence of all the way back to 1856 in the, in the Spalding's How to Wrestle book, which is a catch wrestling manual with uh, photographic plates and descriptions. I've done a few other videos where we kind of talk about this. Uh, what's interesting is the way that they show the double leg takedown initially is real bad. So in, in my opinion, it's real bad. Um, even though as a tall guy, I get away with it sometimes. They show the double leg takedown where someone's reaching down like this, rather than someone doing a real deep penetration step, coming in, displacing the hip. You know, uh, so they're, they're showing it like bad posture on purpose. And I think partially to show you some counters. So with that in mind, first we'll have Jody, like maybe she's tired. You see this in the UFC sometimes, just as one example. People are tired, and the bell's just counting down, and they're like, oh, I gotta do something. I, I can't be on my feet because I took too many significant strikes. And they're just like clinging on to dear life, hoping for a takedown or something. So sometimes that's the scenario where she's just leaning over with bad posture, grabbing my knees. Again, if I, like especially against the fence, you'll see this in the UFC all the time. Okay, so uh, from here, my guillotine opportunity is kind of limited, but it's there, right? We come over with a guillotine choke, but even here, I can't really get a lot of great purchase because her chin is tucked. But now let's assume that she's actually making an effort to shoot in with good penetration step to where she wants her spine to be upright when she does that scooping motion and moves my hips backwards. Let's go ahead and do your double leg takedown. So once she's gonna bring her hip in, right? So bring your hip in for that deep penetration step. Here, now her spine is upright, but her head is on the outside. So uh, when we look at this Spalding's How to Wrestle guillotine counter, it works really nicely when people do this modern shot. So long as you can penetrate past their chin, come here, right? So that the forearm is coming in here and I'm, she wanted to put her hips in, but now I want to put my hips in, right? And there's my guillotine choke. So I'm not applying it as hard as I could, but just to air jitsu this without an actual human being, I would, want to really go in there and uh, as, you know, this is a tricky kind of word, so don't take it the wrong way, but I almost want to kind of violently apply it. If this is a competition, right? It's not that I want to ruin someone's trachea, it's not that I want to cause them damage, but uh, let's, let's even downgrade it from violently to like assertively. We want to assertively get it in there. If she's coming in for her double leg takedown and she's getting her good posture, and if I've waited too long because I wanted to do this gently, She's gonna flip me up and I'm gonna go for a ride, okay? So, one more time. Now she's finishing the shot. That means I wanna be definitive in getting this guillotine grip around underneath her chin, but I can't wait to push my own hips in. As soon as I can, I wanna be able to push my own hips in, walk them in. It's kinda of like I'm lifting a heavy weight, right? I wanna walk them in, and there's my guillotine. It's a real famous example of this counter. Uh, for those of you who like vintage, UFC fights. Um, the first time uh, I remember seeing Dan Severn in real trouble, I may have my timeline a little messed up here, but when Dan Severn went up against Ken Shamrock, Ken Shamrock watched Dan Severn's takedowns, which were very successful in UFC um, for most of his fights, but he noticed that he kept leaving his head out. So Dan, uh, Dan Severn went for his shot, Ken Shamrock went for that guillotine grip, and afterwards, Ken Shamrock was like, yeah, we watched his fights, he drilled that guillotine finish over and over and over and over again, and sure enough, Dan Severn shot exactly like he did in all those other fights. Ken Shamrock wrapped around that guillotine grip, chased inward with the hips like he was lifting a big heavy weight, and Dan Severn had to tap, and that's all she wrote. So, check it out. Have some fun and try not to destroy your training partner's trachea.